The federal government is laying off nearly all of its employees who monitor ocean pollution, and that includes nine people who work in North Saanich. Critics describe the decision as appalling. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans says it is simply refocusing, but a renowned Vancouver Island scientist who's being laid off thinks the plan is not only dangerous, but should be disturbing to everyone. CTV's Andrew Johnson reports. Peter Ross is a world-class scientist and expert on how man-made toxins affect killer whales. By next April, he could also be unemployed, along with 74 others across the country. One sees that as a, a disturbing sign uh, for a country that uh, used to uh, pride itself at uh, the scientific research establishment that we had. Ross is one of nine people in North Saanich who will lose their jobs when the Department of Fisheries and Oceans shuts down its entire contaminants program, which he says will leave five junior biologists to monitor pollution in Canada's three oceans. I can't think of another country in the world that has uh, a, a coastline uh, that does not have some form of uh, scientific capacity to look at the threat that pollution uh, presents to the health of our oceans. And there's an awfully good chance that she was pregnant. Zoologist Anna Hall is checking sure out the carcass of a harbor porpoise washed up in a squamalt lagoon. Analysis. Hall's take on the cuts isn't any Ironically. kinder. It's, it's just astonishing to me that th this sort of thing would be happening right now. And internationally, as a scientist, it's embarrassing. Hall calls closing the DFO's contaminants program reckless. Some may say, well, you know, who cares if a killer whale has contamination? It doesn't affect me and my life. But in fact, it does. The killer whales eat salmon. Some of us eat salmon. They, they swim in the ocean. Some of us let our dogs and children swim in the ocean. It's unclear if the shutdown will affect how Canada reacts to the arrival of tons of marine debris from the tsunami in Japan. Volunteer groups who organize shoreline cleanups on Vancouver Island, like the Surf Rider Foundation, are wondering the same thing. Right now is a time to really start planning and thinking about how we're going to be dealing with this uh, influx of more marine debris. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans explains the money-saving cuts this way, saying in lieu of in-house research on the biological effects of contaminants and pesticides. The department will establish an advisory group and research fund of $1.4 million a year to get advice on priority issues. Anna Hall has started to look for work outside the country because she says if Canada doesn't care about the oceans, there are certainly other nations who do. Andrew Johnson, CTV News.